feeling like a shark in a shrimp tank. Big fish, small pond in the shrimp tank. But it's a- Hello and welcome to the video wrap-up show for the Shrimp Tank Podcast in Seattle. I'm Dan Whedon, and I was joined today by my guest, uh, who I had a fascinating and fun conversation with, it's John Horn. You're going to want to listen to the entire episode with John and myself. Uh, and to do that, subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. Wherever you get them, we are there. We are ubiquitous. You can find us every episode on our website at shrimptankpodcast.com slash Seattle. John, uh, really enjoyed having you on the show. Learned a tremendous amount about Google ads and, and how to do them. One of the questions that you answered really got my attention, and that is, what is the biggest mistake, the biggest mistake that small business owners are making when it comes to ads? The biggest mistake I see, especially when businesses are reaching out to us and looking for help, is they don't know their their numbers. They don't know what success looks like for them. So they may come to us and say, hey, can you market my business and make us money? And we say, well, yes, we can market you. What does success look like? What does your ROI need to be? What are your margins? What's your customer lifetime value? So that we can actually figure out, can we profitably get traffic to your website and get customers in your door or not? And so it's vital to figure out those numbers, figure out what you can afford to to pay or not pay in advertising and marketing to acquire new customers. And then that's your foundation of where you go from there in terms of where you focus your time, your effort, and your ad spend. Metrics are all, always important, aren't they? Uh, to that end, that's where you come in. That's where your business uh, makes the big difference for your clients. Talk a little bit about how you make sure that they're getting their ROI. So first of all, it's all about tracking. It's understanding, all right, we're, we're spending this money. We're getting clicks to your website or phone calls or whatever. How do we know what we're getting for you? And so we spend a lot of effort working on a client's website and phone systems and different ways to track and be able to report to them. Here is actually the ROI for your ads. You spent, you know, $2,000 last month. And here are the clients that you got out of that. Here's the revenue you got out of that or the lifetime value you got out of that. And so that's, that's vital is tracking those things and then making smart decisions based upon that data. You know, having data is great, but if you don't do anything with it, it's not helpful. So we're constantly optimizing and iterating on the advertising we're running, the ads we're creating, the keywords we're targeting to make sure we're constantly improving performance for our clients and increasing that ROI and ultimately the total amount of profit that we're able to help them generate from their advertising. Yeah. You know what? I, and, and you and I talked about this on the podcast. It's like you could do your taxes, but why would you want to do that? You could jump on your roof, but why would you want to do that? It's the same thing uh, using somebody like Stub Group and, and your fine folks there are going to help uh, leverage all of that. So I uh, want to thank you very much for being on the show today, John. Really enjoyed having you. Uh, tell everybody how people can contact you. Yes. Well, Dan, thank you so much for having me. I love the conversation as well. And um, if you are interested and you listen to this, watching this and need some help with your advertising campaigns, or think you should be running advertising campaigns, need to get more, more clients, more customers in the door. We'd love to chat with you. Go to our website, stubgroup.com and you can reach out through there and we'll set up a conversation to see what you need and see if it's something we can help out with. I recommend all of you do just that. Thanks again, John. Really appreciate it. If you like this video, by the way, go ahead and click like below, subscribe to all of our videos. We'd love to have you there and like us on our Facebook page, especially that's where we live stream our full podcasts every Wednesday at noon Pacific. Uh, so please join us next week, uh, April 19th. We will be interviewing our next guest uh, on our Facebook page live. That show again, April 19th, please join us. Until we see you again, be healthy, be prosperous, and of course, have some fun. Because for right now, the shrimp is back in the tank. So long. I've been feeling like a shark in a shrimp tank. Big fish, small pond.